guys this is how you can make a custom resource pack for minecraft 1.7.2 um, you can include custom sounds um, custom cds custom pictures and stuff but on this um, this video we're going to be doing custom um, music discs or uh, cds so i'm just going to select the pack that i made um, i've just called it test pack i'm going to go into single player and open up my uh, creative world and I'm going to play the CD that I customised just take it out and put it back in so it's like a six minute song um, but yeah that's a custom song um, because usually it's just the normal blocks song but it's custom so uh, we're just going to show you how you do that so first of all you want to close down your minecraft and you need to download a program called winrar uh, if you don't have it if you've already got it then that's great but um, the link's in the description where you can download it <coughs> But yeah, you just need WinRAR. Um, and then, uh, second of all, what you're going to do is go to your desktop. Actually, no. You want to open up your um, file explorer. Um, so it's like this, you know, you can view what, where you are. Um, you want to click on the top right here. If you don't know how to get to a file explorer, um, there's a different way you can do it. Just hold your Windows key. Hold it on your keyboard. Hold your Windows key and then click on R or click on your start menu and type in cmd uh, oh no 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 not cmd um, type in run and then see this right here you want to type in run and then um, in this box here you're going to type in percent app data percent i'm sure you've all seen that before but if you haven't then yeah percent app data, app data percent okay and then it takes you right here now you should notice at the top you see dot minecraft uh, and then in there you can see resource packs and then in here you might not have anything but if you do it's okay all you're gonna do is you're gonna right, you're gonna right click you're gonna click on new and then you can, once you've installed WinRAR you should notice it says WinRAR zip archive at the bottom you wanna click on that um, make sure you choose the one that says um, zip not the normal one because it won't work Minecraft won't de detect it you wanna choose the zip one and then you can call it whatever you want so I'm just gonna call it um, YouTube. Actually, no. I'm just gonna call it Test Pack. Um, now I just did that. I'm just gonna. I just did it. I'm gonna delete this one. Um, so yeah. And then inside here, all you're gonna do um, in Minrise, you're gonna right click, create a new folder right here, and then here you're gonna call it Assets. Oh no, Assets. There we go. And then. Um, there will be a file in the description that you're going to download, um, all it is is a pack that you need for Minecraft to actually recognise um, the pack. And I'm just going to put for all of you my custom pack. If you want to change it, um, you can obviously open it with Word, just right click and open with and then choose um, notepad. All it is is the description of the pack that comes on the menu. So I've just put my custom pack. You're just gonna download it from the description and then put it in to the zip file, not the assets folder, just outside. Um, and then what you wanna do? Go into the assets folder and then right click here, create a new folder. Call it Minecraft. Inside Minecraft, you're gonna create a new folder again. Call it Sounds. Inside Sounds, you're gonna create a new folder again and call it records inside records 
you're now gonna create a um a file that uh, it's like a sound file that is recognized by Minecraft. Um, now you can create that with a program called Audacity. It's basically an advanced version of the sound recorder. So all you're gonna do is click on the link in the description. Um, it's called Audacity. It's in the description, so you can download that for either Windows or Mac. So once you downloaded it, you just want to open it up and then get a sound file that you want to actually make the the disc or the CD. Um, I've just downloaded a a custom song, but I'm just going to show you what you do if you want to create your own. So you want to find a song, and I'll be back once I find a custom um, non copyright song. Right, so I've just found a um, apparently a, um, f a free song. Um, so free download, there you go. Um, so all you're gonna do is copy the link to the song and go to the top, type in youtube-mp3.org and then just paste in the link, convert, and then click on download when it pops up. Now, this is a non-copyrighted song I would recommend getting a non-copyrighted one if you're going to share it with people. Otherwise, if you put it up on websites or, you know, you can get in trouble. Um, so like I said, yeah, just use a non-copyrighted one because it's much easier. And half of them are decent. Looks <coughs> like that's not working. YouTube 2 MP3. Let's have a look in this one. Alright, so that seems fine. Uh, once you downloaded the song that you want to use, you want to go over to Audacity and click on File and Open and just find the song that you downloaded. I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Like this. Now, you're not going to mess with anything, you're just going to click on. You can turn it down a bit if you want because in Minecraft, um, the songs are usually um, dabbed by like 8, like turned down a bit. Um, so I'm just going to put minus 8. Uh, just click on file, export. Now this is the um, the complicated bit, or the bit you need to concentrate on. You want to name the song to what the actual disc is called. So I've just gone to music discs, I've typed in Minecraft music discs, and it's popped up with all the names down the side. So I'm just going to change the name of, uh, or change the song of the weight one. So you're going to go back to Audacity, put the name of the disc and then click on save as type. You want to choose OGG Vorbis files and then click on save. Okay. So it should take around 20 seconds, not that long. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so it's just finished and all you're going to do is go to where it's saved or exported to. Um, mine saved right here. And you're just gonna simply drag it, drag it, and drop it into the records f um, folder that you created in the zip file, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, basically, create a couple of folders and drag a song in there. That's OGG. Um, let me just show you actually go in to um, use the test, the test pack or your resource pack. Uh, let me just show you what you actually do. So you open up Minecraft as normal. Click on play. And it's decided not to do anything at all. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got another one here. There we go. Um, all you're going to do is click on options, resource packs at the bottom, and then scroll down or until you find your test pack or your, your pack, whatever you called it. Um, so mine's called Test Pack. You're going to click on Done. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about when I said the description. The little grey font at the bottom. Uh, that's what's going to pop up um, when you edit it. So click on Done. Done. And now let's test the weight. 
a music disc. See if it's worked. So I've been. There you go, we've got the disc right here. So let's see if it actually works. Ready? you just make custom uh, music discs and um yep that was the weight that i changed right there <coughs> so yep custom music discs or cds or whatever you want to call it um so yeah thanks for watching um that was number one of making a custom resource pack um the next video we're going to be looking at how to make um custom uh, menu music so you know the um the one when you're on the main menu of Minecraft. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at how to change that. Um next video. Well this video is just based on how to change the C D. Um you know, change the C D music. So yeah, thanks for watching and please leave a rake in. A, a rake in? What the hell? A, a rating if it actually helped. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye.